my name is Udonga Oto, <clears throat> the one and only. Just a quick question for thinking. There are good Baganda businesses in Gulu. Gulu Electrical is the biggest electrical shop in Gulu. The owner of the shop is my friend. He's a Muganda. He has actually even bought land in Nuaya and is involved in commercial farming. We have clothes that are set, shops that are selling clothes in Gulu, in, a, in, a, in, in the main street, just after the former Gulu Book Center. We have Buganda Pub. We have restaurants at uh, Gas, uh, serving delicious food. We have mechanics. I, I, I drive Mercedes Benz and every time I have problems, I have to look for a garage where they are Buganda because they have the knowledge. They are there in Gulu doing businesses. They run bars, restaurants. There is even a new nightclub opened in Gulu, operated by them. Actually, if I may remotely say, there should be about 3,000 Baganda in Gulu. So why is it that we Acholis are not against those businesses, but we are complaining about Jaco? Ask yourself, why? Because some of you are trying to make these issues tribal, that Acholis don't like Baganda. No, ask yourself, all the other businesses are doing well in Gulu. We are together, we love them. They love us. They make money from us. Even in Pade, they control the milling industry. Actually, 80% of Gulu eats Maganjo and Super One, maize flow. Maganjo and Super One. They feed us. So why is it that we are complaining about Chaco? So listen to me. This is not about being tribal. We don't want charcoal in Acholi. It is causing environmental degradation. Acholi is supplying 80% of the charcoal in Uganda. It is because we are just recovering from the war and you are taking advantage of us. No, please don't do that to us. We don't want this charcoal trade. We don't want let me even ask a very silly and obvious question. Are there no trees in Common CV? Are there no trees in Najanakumbi? Are there no trees in Abaita Babiri? Are there no trees in Wankulukuku? Are there no trees in Ankole? Are there no trees in Fort Porto? Why are you driving 315 kilometers to Gulu and 315 kilometers back to cut our trees? So for us in Acholi, we have said no. And a second clarification. Some of you think it is actually selling charcoal to these people, these traders. No, it is the traders who are involved with power source. They come and rent land that for commercial agriculture. Then instead they fell the trees and leave. So as actually we have said no to charcoal. No. No amount of intimidation, no amount of arrest, no amount of harassment will stop us from defending our environmental land. No. No. We will not accept this. We shall defend our land. It is the only thing we have. God did not give us Lake Victoria. In Kampala here, you get convectional rainfall, I think, because of Lake Victoria. In actually, we have no big lakes. So if you cut all the trees, the place will get dry. And in 15 years, actually will become a desert like Southern Sudan. And our people will die. We have died enough. So no. Now, the second thing. Please, the people of Acholi, don't put the law in your hands. Don't beat these people. Why do you beat them? Don't vandalize their tracks. Why do you do that? When you get them, as we agreed, stop the truck, remove the charcoal, and let them go. So you people, also you go and cut trees from your home area. Go and cut from your home area. You people who love money like that, really, you leave money in your area, and you go to get money from somewhere else, go and cut trees in your area. And the government of Uganda, please organize a national dialogue on energy. Organize a national dialogue on energy. We need to talk. We want to hear the national dialogue saying there should be zero taxes on electricity. We want to hear government saying Umeme should leave. We want to hear zero taxes on gas.
there has to be a national dialogue on electricity every day we are talking about politics politics no because for us in actually we will not accept charcoal we will use the law and will not accept charcoal trade so as we are cutting off the supply of charcoal you must also ask what will the people of the central use so let's not be tri tribal let's not be tribal this is not tribal this is an environmental campaign and we are all in the same boat the police has called me i'm going to the police i have no problem i've been in kampala since ed with my family then i hear there's a case of human rights violation in the north that I was involved. I'm here in Kampala. So that is just intimidation. We are not going to be intimidated. And for your information, we will not be intimidated.